Okay, the Michelson interferometer, very, very janky test setup, is now operational. I just got this set up today. It's going to be used for PID control of the axes on the lathe. Here we have helium neon laser, beam splitter cube, reference retro reflector in this little flexture stage that I designed and built for alignment. The other measurement retro reflector on another flexture stage. And this is all very janky I know, but this is just for testing purposes so we can get something that works. Linear polarizer and then we have a lens to project the image onto the wall right now looks like that. So let me show you just how sensitive we can get with this setup. So here we go ready to look at some measurements. I'm going to try and get both what I'm doing and the output beam in frame here. I'll turn down the exposure so you can see the output beam and the fringes. So first I'll just rest my finger on the plate. I'm not putting any weight, I'm just resting it, barely even touching it. And you can see we are bending that plate enough to make a fringe walk across the screen. I'm just resting the weight of my finger on it. You can see a fringe start to travel down. The way I have it set up right now, it's not the classic concentric fringe pattern. It's more of a linear fringe pattern because the beams are slightly, they're above each other like this and out of alignment. So we have linear fringes in the middle, just so they're a little bit easier to see. Let me do another demo real quick. And this one's really cool. I'm going to take this Allen wrench, this blowtorch, I'm going to heat up the Allen wrench and I'm not going to touch anything with this setup. I'm just going to bring it down here close to the, the system, not going to touch anything, make any sort of wind currents. going to bring it near the mirror. As you can see, those fringes are starting to shift and scan across the, the output beam. So the black body radiation alone emitted by this is enough to warm the components of this expand it and we're able to read that thermal expansion on the output beam there. That's pretty awesome. Just me setting that down on the table as you can see has a big a big effect on the, the reading. If I uh, jump on the ground here you can see another large spike. And that's just me stomping highly highly sensitive very cool we'll update uh, soon on on the progress of this I'm in the process of designing a monolithic base plate and set up for this so there's no finicky alignment if you just assemble it all and it's solid and you don't have to worry about someone bumping into the table and throwing everything off so more updates soon one last fun demo here i have my associate nick outside he's holding a piece of cast iron and when i give him the signal he's going to drop it on the ground 
Let's try it out. <laughs> yep. Saw a little flicker on the uh, output there. So he's on a different concrete slab, probably 20 feet away or so. That's not a huge piece of metal. And that shook the ground enough to shake the table enough, to shake the surface plate enough, to shake the mirrors enough for them to displace. And we saw that on the output there. It's just so insane.